Hello friends, in this video, we are going to learn about the React Native Image Picker. So you can see the React Native Image Picker, right? So we are going to use this React Native Image Picker. Why we are using, uh, just like we want to upload the profile picture and show it to the preview and save it to the database backend part. So we are going to uh, learn about the front end, how we are going to select the image from the gallery, what we have, okay? So let's start the tutorial. You can see that it has weekly downloads. So let's start the tutorial. Let me open my VS code. So you need to add this package, uh, uh, React Native Image Picker. Yes. After this, you need to add the this launch camera and launch image library from the React Native Image Picker. So, and after this, you can, uh, the camera will be open and you can do what the what they are getting on. You can get the base 64 and URI for the both width, height, file size, file name, everything you will get it on. Okay. So let's check out the, how we are going to use it in our application. So let me go to the this is and you can go to, and you see that there is I have already made the select file option where if you have click on that it will ask for the permission whether you want to go for the albums on the photos when you click on the albums and I will take the screenshot So the preview is, I think, not showing. So let's go to the tutorial one. So here we have added the full launch image gallery. And after that, we will set the state of that response URI assets. And uh, then it will show it over here. So there is image picker launch image gallery. OK, so launch image gallery we have used. OK, React Native image pickers so that will open the that thing that we ha I have shown you, right? And this on the behalf of this, we will uh, set into the state and we can uh, set, we will return this full state to the backend so that they can save the image and return you the exact path for it. Okay. So this is, that's it. And in android.manifest.xml, you need to bypass these three permissions. That is a uh, system alert window, camera and write external storage. So you can upload that image to their ext uh, media, right? So this is the, this you, this you need to add and uh, in the settings, you don't need this. You need to allow the permissions only. And after this, you need to just go for the app.js and write the code here. Constructor, you can set the state resource path empty. After that, you can render the view. Okay. Let me format the code. Okay. So now this is formatted the code. Let me add more. You can here also you can get the base 64 image so that you can send that base 64 to the front back end so that they can save the image. Okay. And I wish you have console the resource dot URI dot path. Let me go to the terminal and run the commands. So we have react native npx android. Let me paste it. And uh, let's run the server also at the same time. And let's see the it is installing and configuring. Now it's running, installing the APK.
so you can see that this is over here should not be an empty string currently it is it says it's not be empty so if i go to the this part let's take a, uh, let's console the full response what we are getting from the while uploading while choosing from these select file so it is here select uh, file so let's select the file albums you can see that now I have uploaded the image and the preview of the image is shown right so this is how we can uh, upload the image if I go to the console and you can see that uh, we have uploaded the image and what we are returning that is assets file name we have the file name we have file size height width and the URI that we am showing th that URI part that I am showing as a preview and width and the height everything is you can see that we are getting from the image picker so you can handle it accordingly we have console everything okay so I think uh, you understand what how we are we can use the camera or select the images from our gallery like this okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day if you have any query regarding the image picker how you can um, open it uh, one more thing that is pending that is selecting the camera currently we are selecting it from the files and folders camera part is pending so in the next video i will cover the camera part also like you can just click on the image from the camera and send it okay that is pending that uh, we will take taken care of in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day